some new faces um give me a thumbs up if you've used butter before or a thumbs down if you were new to this app using the react button in that left side uh, menu on your screen cool yeah so we have some newbies here on butter i'm going to start with uh with this so that I can show you around this app, maybe. Um, cool. So using the React button, you're going to have all these emojis, and you can use them to show us how you're feeling throughout the day. Uh, you have both the emojis and the sound. So let us know how you're feeling. Give me a reaction. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. So you found that. <laughs> Beneath that is the Q button, which we can use for comments and questions and ideas. Um, feel free to use that so that we avoid awkward interruptions or missing our turns during the conversation and use that to contribute. Also, feel free to use the chat. Yeah, Anna Maria is demonstrating that. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Uh, you can also use the chat for um, comments and observations and gifts that you want to share with us and, uh, and thoughts. Great. And if you want to uh, to take notes during the session, uh, you can use the last button in that menu to the left. Your notes are going to be private, so that that's going to be just for you uh, to gather your thoughts. And yeah, these are some shortcuts that you can use: the M key to mute and unmute yourself, and then the V to turn off and on your camera if you want to use that. So that's about it with the butter. Hope you're going to enjoy that. Um, and now I'm going to use the other cards that should have been there from the beginning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but let's let's not worry about that. Uh, okay. So I the link them in the toolbox. There we go. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Awesome. So maybe you can uh, use an emoji to tell us what's your week been so far. Cool. Yeah, so we have all these reactions. Awesome. <laughs> Some of us are sad and happy and excited <laughs> and tired, maybe. <laughs> But yeah, so we've done all our um, check-ins and uh, intros. Um, yeah, before we dive deeper into today's session, um, I do want to mention that we're recording this event uh, because we want to make learning accessible to as many people as possible. So if you're uncomfortable with that, uh, feel free to keep your camera off, Use a fun avatar instead and interact with us with the reactions and use the chat to, to let us know your thoughts throughout the day. And uh, yeah, back to the sandbox now. <laughs> As you know, this, uh, this sandbox is our playground. It's basically our safe space where we experiment with different methodologies or tools, where we test our workshops to get feedback from a live audience. So um, yeah, these sessions are not about experts. They're rather about trying things out, learning from each other. And uh, this is why I love this session so much. And uh, the, the Sandbox Initiative uh, is really close to my heart. Uh, my name is Andrea. I'm a coach and trainer and the Butter Community um, 
since last year, since last uh, autumn. So it's been a fun time uh, in the community. And I'm, uh, I'm running this sandbox initiative with our lovely host, Madiha. Uh, give us a hello, Madiha. There you go. Uh, Madiha is a trainer and a curriculum designer by profession. She works in the government sector and her main interests are in L&D, where she designs and delivers innovative learning opportunities for staff and leaders. Um, her research interests include creativity and using it in educational settings. And she's also working towards certification in workplace learning and adult education. So Madiha, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm going to give you the spotlight now. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see what you have in store for us. OK, awesome. Um, thank you, uh, Andrea, for that lovely introduction. Um, I hope you can hear me fine. Um, it's very nice to see you all, and thanks for attending. So today we're going to do a workshop which is called a Lightning Decision Jam. It's basically a, it's basically a problem solving workshop or activity you can say as you like. Um, it's used mainly when you have a very broad challenge or a broad broad problem, and you need to narrow it down. And it's used mostly where um, it's when you have too many problems or too many solutions and you do not know how to narrow it down. So you need to be decisive, you need to be quick. This is, uh, it works best for the, uh, best in those conditions. And one of the conditions is you work silently. Only at the last part, towards the last part, you do come together and congregate. However, most of the steps that we're gonna do, it's gonna be silent work. So that means no talking, <laughs> okay? So we're gonna start. Um, I'm just going to move the agenda. There we go. Okay. So we're going to, uh, our workspace will be the mirror board. Um, can you show me a thumbs up if you're okay and you used the mirror board before? That'd be great. Okay. Awesome. We've got lots of thumbs up. Right. So our mirror board's just being set up. Um, yeah, just give it a few seconds to pop up. Great. Okay, so um, here's just a little introduction that um, about what actually Lightning uh, Decision Jam is. It's not something new. Um, the concept is actually taken from AG and Smart. Um, we, they have used this a couple of times. They've done tons of workshop on this. It's been very successful face to face, as well as in our uh, remote meetings as well. Okay, um, so I think we can start. So the first step is to actually define the problem or the challenge that you are going to be working on uh, in the workshop. So um, let me just move this. So I'm just, I'm going to move the, uh, the board slightly as we move on each steps um, towards the uh, right-hand sides, okay? So uh, here's the problem. You can actually think of this in the workshop, but generally it's a better idea to come up with the problem beforehand. So there, there's no um, time wasted. So the problem at hand that we have is um, how to make the butter community a go-to place for potatoes. So this is our broad statement right here. And we're going to work on this to uh, narrow down and finally have some workable solutions for us to execute. So are you ready, guys? Um, shall we move to the first step? Okay, right, I forgot to mention there's going to be lots of sticky notes here, okay? I love sticky notes, they're just perfect. So in the first step, what we're gonna do is we are gonna look at the positive aspects versus the challenges that we are having with the problem statement currently. So you know the problem statement is how to make uh, making the butter community go to place for facilitators. So the first step is to identify all the positives that are working right now with that statement. So what I want you guys to do, you've got three minutes each. And on the green sticky notes, you're going to write down what's working well right now already in the Butter community. So um, I think, Andrea, can you start the timer? Or I'll, I'll start the timer. So it's about three minutes. So um, yeah, three minutes. Okay, so everybody gets three minutes. So pick a sticky note, a green sticky note, and write down very quickly the positive sides. No talking, no discussions. Mm -hmm. 
Can I just make a quick addition? Because maybe for some of you that are new to the community, uh, the challenge might seem a, a bit vague. Just try to think in general of the concept of, of a community, right? So what would make you uh, go back to that place, make connections there and, and, and visit that space um, as your go-to place as a facilitator? Um, and maybe that maybe that leads to some more ideas as well. A whole place where facilitators do a lot of things, not just a sandbox. Okay. Okay, great. I think there's some really good stuff here. Okay, great. So our time's up. Now we've got all the positives to the challenge. So the sailboat exercise is a very common one. So the top are all the positives. Now what we're going to look at is uh, what are the challenges that are we currently having with this statement, with the problem statement? So what I'd like you to do next is if you um, pick one sticky note, orange sticky note, and write down the challenges that uh, we are experiencing, being experienced current like, like Anna Maria says in the community or if you're from with the butter community the, the butter community be specific for that great so I think we can start the timer yeah otherwise just think what might come in the way mm -hmm. of a community in general to what's succeed stopping this goal? you yeah yes. what's stopping you to reach that goal so in in, in, in in this case the goal is how to make it a go-to place for facilitators like
Parei de reclamar, a vida vai passar, não vou ficar mais nessa Olha pro lado e vê, quem anda com você, cê tem que abraçar Preste bem atenção, coisas do coração, são como essa ladrão Ok, guys, let's see what we've come up with um, Got lots of ideas here Now, before we move on to the next part, let me just uh speak about these two aspects so we've listed down our positives and our challenges the main the main thing now is how are we going to choose what's more the most important um points that or the solutions at this point there's no solutions yet but ideas to pick and work on a lot of the times in meetings you would know that you can generally tend to throw out so many ideas most of them are not workable or it's very difficult to choose so the next part here is we're going to do uh, we're going to do a bit of voting. I hope you enjoy voting. So if you scroll down on the board, you will see some voting dots um, in red. Um, the numbers one, two, three, four is generally it just means um, each person gets three dots. You have three minutes um, to select uh, which uh, which uh, sticky note that is uh, that you're going to choose that you think is most relevant. And you, you're going to choose it between the positives and the challenges. So the, the green sticky notes and the oranges. So each person gets three dots and you put them on um, the sticky note that you think is worth um, working on. So, oh yes, Anna Maria, I have a question. Uh, do we place it on the, it doesn't matter if there are challenges or... Um... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Because the, the idea right now is to prioritize which one uh which ones in this case is the uh, is the one that we can move forward observe has you. a question go ahead can we vote more than once yeah you can you have three dots so no 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 i mean uh can we use more than one dot on a sticky note yes you can thank you yep welcome Okay, we'll just start the timer so that um, you guys can go ahead. I think you guys will generally finish this before the three minutes, but... The praia in the sun The fall in the Brasileira Pensing into the daylight Just swing the hebel I do Don't know how but I try to Seu jeitinho E o carinho Something that I'd fly to Quer saber de onde só Brasileira Meu amor Brasil Quer saber 
de onde só Brasileira, meu amor, Brasil Okay, right, so we've done with the voting, so we can move on to the next part. So the next part is going to, um, we're going to be using um, the sticky notes that has been most voted. So the next part is basically reframing the problem and ideating it so that we get some mass solutions. So, you know, uh, so basically, the, we're going to choose the top most voted a sticky notes and we're gonna see, so we got here, uh, let's have a quick look. So we've got one here with four sticky notes and we've got another one with three. So we're gonna choose those and we're gonna bring them to the board on this one. We're going to now um, change it into how might we, change them into how might we and come up with lots of ideas. For this, we're gonna move them into rooms, um, Andrea. I can I can do that in the background. Uh, yeah, and I will work on the new board. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have um you, you guys will get some time here. Oh, time's up. <laughs> you guys will get some time here to actually think, really think deep on um on the solutions for this. So the sticky note that we picked, is it this one? But a community okay, so having to compete choose, with yeah. other communities. That's right. So that's one, and the other one is the sessions sessions during the workday and we, we're, we're taking only one or do we take two and each group's work works on two okay we got one with four so i think we'll just take this one with the most voted because the others are three and three yeah okay all right oopsie okay, so generally um you actually get get to choose more than one sticky note because you'll get some you'll get more four uh, dots or three dots or three dots. Because of the time constraints, we're only gonna stick to one, um, one sticky note for this particular workshop. So we have to rephrase this into a how might we yep. question, so right? Let's go back here. We need to rephrase it into a how might we, okay? And come up with some ideas on the green sticky note. So, Okay, so uh, how might we differentiate the butter community from other community mm -hmm. platforms for facilitators? Yep. So that, uh, that's just a quick, uh, quick check if that's if that's okay for uh, for. Yep. So that's already changed into yeah, So it's reframed into a how might we now okay. let's uh, pick up, get some solutions for this. How might we do that? Oops. Okay. The board might be going all over the places because uh, we're just trying to put the okay. sticky notes here. So while Andrea is adding the sticky notes, I'm going to open the breakout rooms and well, we are going to work in small groups. Uh, the mirror board is going to be waiting for you in the group once you land there. Um, in case you're having any issues with tech or questions related to the activity, you're going to find the hand icon button on the right side of your screen. You can ask for help and we're going to pop in the room. We're going to work in groups of three um, and we have 10 minutes for we, this test we have 10 before coming back. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're ideating as many solutions as possible for the challenge that we have. And the challenge is how might we differentiate the butter community from other community platforms for facilitators? Great. Thanks. All right.
starting the breakout now. Okay, Michaela, no worries. See you soon. Okay, see you back in 10 minutes. Uh, have a great conversation. So how did you find the activity? Um, did you guys do a lot of talking? No. <laughs> no, absolutely. No. So it was, it was a quiet activity. Because so generally for this one, you actually you do need to speak a lot and bounce off ideas. But um, but it's also a very good activity just to do in silence. However, uh, however, uh, in this case, because we only have that one uh, one sticky note to work on, it was it would have been better if you guys had discussed um, open discussion. But that's all good. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one. And in this one, you really, really have to talk to each other because this is going to take some um, some really deep thinking and decision making. So you've got to be decisive in this one. So um, now that we have um, some ideas to the how might we um, uh, ch challenge or the problem that we are trying to solve on all of this, we now have to uh, we now have to figure out which of these are worth uh, for us to use um, test and then execute. So we are now going to go uh, to the next part, which is a impact and effort grid. Um, this grid is usually used to help us identify which of these solutions is best used with minimum effort, but more impact, higher impact. So um, as you can see on the mirror board, and, and Maria has kindly dragged uh, the uh, the graph next to the rooms. So you, so next to the rooms that you were in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to like um, allow you guys to. We're going to be in the main room, right? Right, Andrea. Yeah. So we're going to be in the main room, and what we're going to do is you guys are now going to decide. So you have the de uh, decis uh, decision power to choose which of these are we we are going to then move forward with. So. I give you now, the floor is yours. So you guys uh, have 10 minutes. Okay, perhaps let's let's start off like this. Let's just take this idea and put it in the middle and ask the question, um, localized community groups for where you live, uh, what impact will that have on the problem that we're trying to solve? Mm -hmm. um, would, that, would that be high impact or low impact? Okay, so what do you think, guys? your ideas so let's let's hear from you um yeah i mean i think this is maybe difficult to decide because i'm not sure um what the other like is it something that other community groups like if it's talking about how do we differentiate it ourselves mm -hmm. from that mm -hmm. um i mean do other like groups have localized community groups where they live and is it even a desire of them to like be grouped by location. So um, I think, I don't know, it's hard for me. I, it feels pretty, I don't know. I had this issue with all of them because I don't know what I'm comparing it to. So I don't know how to okay. how to decide okay. what we differentiate from itself. All right. So let, let's, let me just answer some of the questions that you have. Yes, some of the other community groups do have um, localized community, uh, localized community groups where they you know, similar to like, for example, meetup example, um, butter doesn't have that right now. So I think the question we, we, we should be asking is if we had localized community groups um, for the butter platform, would it would it attract facilitators um, um, to the butter platform? You know, that's, that's the kind of question. And that will tell us, you know, how much of impact this would have. Um, and well, I guess it's getting at like a different question of like if it would it attract people or would it differentiate it from us from something else. Um, and so I guess I'm just getting at like, is it the desire? Like, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm curious, do you think it's something that would have impact on, on getting people to the community? Um, if, if I were to say, yes, I, I think this would have, um, um, you know, uh, uh, it would impact positively on the problem, you know, so it would be in my, in my opinion, it would be a high impact uh, 
uh, solution. I don't know if there's other views. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it could have impact, like if there was more people that I knew were in the city that I lived, then maybe I'd want to come back to it. To sure. Yeah. So, sure. Um, now let's look at it from Butter's perspective, you know, you know, how much effort is this going to require to set up? Um, this would certainly, if I can just talk it through, I would think that um, it's not impossible, but it's going to take some doing because there's going to be there's going to be a lot of uh, logistics required. You're going to have to have, um, you know, if you're going to have chapters in different areas, you're going to have to have people who actually look after those, um, arrange them. So I'm going to say that um, if it were up to me alone, that this is going to require a lot of effort to, to put in place, you know, so I would kind of move it here. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, by, by way of illustration. <laughs> Does that make sense? Can we live with that? <laughs> I think we Great. <laughs> okay. Yay. Uh, <laughs> let's let's try the next one. Uh, oh dear. Um, the sticky note has gone behind. Um, hang on. Uh, let me just do this here first. Bring to front. Okay, here we go. All right, so now let's start. Let's do the same thing here. Um, if we have some kind of incentive for people who use the platform or to belong to the platform, and that incentive could be anything, it could be credits of your subscription or some free stuff or whatever the case might be. Um, how would that impact? Would do you think that would have a low or a high impact? What does the group say? I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I um, wonder maybe here there are there is a part of the information missing meaning what's what is keeping people away because if it's the use of the platform for example that is keeping people away then maybe something like incentivizing them to use the platform might have an might have a positive impact on on um folks being like wanting to be in the community um because right now, like I think in my brain is this dissociation in between use of the platform and belonging to the butter community, since mm -hmm. the community since is not a requirement mm -hmm. uh, to be a butter user, to be a part of the butter community and mm -hmm. learn all you can about facilitation. So I think I have this kind of missing, uh, sure. missing puzzle whether this is truly a pain point because if this would be a pain point let's imagine that this is a pain point right then i think that incentivizing would definitely have a higher or we would expect it to have a higher impact we don't know that but we would expect um, an impact. Um, and if, if we just had to like expand that further to say if we compare it to the the previous sticky note i mean mm. uh, about localized communities would it have a a similar impact, a higher impact, or mm -hmm. lower impact than than the localized community groups. Yeah, I mean, I think I get what Anna Maria is talking about a little bit. Where, like, if we're talking about how does this, like, somebody might want to use and and access the community, and and if are we talking about like having them repeat come back or just join mm -hmm. it one time like i think having them come back once or mm -hmm. for the first time sure it could have impact but if you're really talking about like how do we differentiate ourselves from somebody another community where like they want continuous use we want to have repeat 
like them engaging in the community over time, I think it would actually have pretty low impact. Like I think mm. that initial that initial first step, sure, but after that, I don't know how much impact that would really have because then they would just could come once and then leave mm -hmm. and then come back again. All right, let's 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 put it here then. So mm. it's 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 kind of there. All right, how much of effort would this require to set up? Would it take a lot on Butter's part to set up an incentive system? Um, no. No. But obviously, I mean, not not in terms of if the, in terms of the decision that will have to be taken in terms of costs. That's something else. But in terms of effort, sure. no. Yeah. So when when you look at effort, um, we, we we look at. Um, I know the word is effort, but one should actually look at resources because it, you know, it will require money. Ideas require money. Ideas require physical effort in terms of uh, people hours and that kind of thing. So just look at effort a little bit broadly and more all encompassing. Um, so, you know, um, I, I, I would kind of say, you know, it's 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 like somewhere there, you know, that there, that there is some effort required um, in terms of resources, uh, allocating resources to this. If if there's going to be some kind of uh, incentive that sounds in money, whether that is a discount on your subscription to use mm -hmm. the other platform, etc. Et Okay, let's yeah, move on to think, the next one. <laughs> uh, no, I think I think that's great. We've done uh, very well so far. Um, I'd love to keep on doing this. I can see that you guys are actually getting into uh, the discussion right now, and I'm really happy. But we are, I think, uh, falling behind time. So I'm going to stop the discussion on this part now. But in, in, a, in a normal workshop, if we're not out of time, we will actually have more time on this part to narrow it down. So that's all good. So now that we, we have our impact and effort graph, what usually happens next is that we, we're going to now use these to make actionable solutions. We're not going to do this activity because we don't really have time. However, I'm going to summarize to you what happens next. So in a, in a, nor, in a general workshop, you will have more, um, more items to work on. Like here you have step one, two, three, four, and five. In this case, we don't really have that. So, um, I'm just going to do an overview of that. So here um, you again vote because on the grids you will have more than one sticky note. And again, we cannot work on all um, on all of these solutions for each sticky note. So again, you will actually have to vote and the most voted ones would be then um, brought forward to the next frame, which is here step six. And you will then there will be a user test flow where um, uh, the, the, the group will design some specific steps on how to take it to the next action. And usually what happens here is the one uh, who came up with the idea would be actually in charge of to execute the steps to make uh, uh, to make it possible. So that's, uh, that's how um, LDJ actually works. So what we have so far come to is from a broad statement which is a challenge or the problem that we were trying to solve, we have actually come down to a very small uh, chunk based idea and um, actions that we can execute mm -hmm. to help us solve the problem. In this case, initially, we're talking about how to make the Berter community um, fun place for facilitators. So um, guys, that's pretty much um, how the end of this workshop. Oh, Anna Maria has a comment. Yes, Anna Maria. So I am, uh, thank you so much for taking us through the framework. I noticed and I know also from AJ and Smart that they're using this quite a lot. And I know that the timings are always very sharp and I find yeah. that a challenge. And so obviously we are not part of a team and maybe we haven't necessarily went into the we don't yet fully truly are immersed in understanding the problem statement, which will not be the case in case of a team that is like used to working on those on on, that, on that that's challenge correct. that's correct but yeah. I, for me I, I just wonder uh is this realistic like is this does this work to brainstorm something in like five minutes and then discuss in 10 and then move on and kind of like take big 
big important decisions in our job based on the framework i just want to open it up you know to debate or conversation that's where my head's at now that's a very good question when i first came across this i wasn't really sure that this is a very practical however um in creative environments apparently this works because um there are people who need to be uh directed decisions need to be snapped uh you know snap decisions so in those particular environments um where the, the the problem is really large and they need to come up with solutions really quickly it does work however like you said Anna Maria because we're not really aware we're not really a team so for us it's a bit vague so we're not really grasping it yet so yeah yes Abzu, you, have a, you have a comment as well yes um I, I just want to allay the the, the concerns that were raised um, I used a, I am uh, a facilitator. Um, I use a modified version of the LDJ that takes uh, between two to three hours to run. And mm -hmm. it uses this basic, um, uh, the, 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 the basic framework with some changes. But um, even if you use this framework um, as it is on this, on this uh, um, uh, template with those timings, it actually works because invariably what happens is that the longer you allow people to brainstorm you mm -hmm. know you know you know the quality of your ideas you know starts to decline that's after correct that. and that's that's why this the, they came yeah. up with this uh this this idea that, you that know the whole point of ag smart was that yeah. that's correct so it's it's really critical that that how my three question is really critical uh, you know as to how you pose that 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 question um, and, um, you know, the heart of it is actually getting that. Um, and then obviously understanding uh, the problem. And because we're not a team and because uh, the problem that was chosen uh, might be, you know, somewhat foreign to, to us. I mean, if, for example, as ordinary people, we had to answer some question, um, you know, a, a problem about you know, working remotely or something like that, we'd all be able to identify with it and it would have been mm -hmm. uh, easier. But uh, just to allay the concerns, the speed does help. And um, the, um, uh, you know, um, I, I've used it for, for lots of different kinds of problems and had excellent results with it. Although, like I said, I run a slightly longer session. Um, mm -hmm for this kind of thing. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for that well, comment. Uh, very quickly, uh, Hannah, I think um, you, you had a comment. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've, uh, we haven't actually, we actually don't purposely use this uh, framework um, in, a, in a lot of our, uh, in a lot of our work, client work and, and with our students as well, um, because I think that there are some precautions and some um, areas that uh, can get glazed over and a lot of times you are bringing people in who have different levels of expertise and who don't have the information behind that um so might have questions on areas that like kind of came up with what we do uh, came up today um and so i think uh we've seen in the past where sometimes like uh having a good facilitator who's neutral in the situation mm -hmm. if you are going to do something like this can be super helpful because um not having somebody push an agenda that they're looking for at the who's setting the group up yeah um and yeah so i think that if you are going to do a situation like this having yeah really having a, a neutral facilitator is, is something that's super important in this situation okay great thanks for that hannah yeah i, I totally agree with that um again so this this was just a trial exercise so maybe something in the future you can try in your workplace so that's the whole point of the sandbox, just to try out. Um, so guys, uh, very quickly, we are going to ask you for your feedbacks. So as you can see on the board, we have the roses, thorns, and buds. So if you can please take some time just to jot down your feedback, we'd appreciate it. And I, I just to mention something here, the, the, the um, sandbox are our way as facilitators to practice and improve. So it would be great if the feedback would be not related to the framework, but related to how the session was run today, hosted, facilitated, and so on, uh, because it's a great opportunity for Madiha in this case, who took the stage to kind of um, 
yeah, uh, take uh, feedback and uh, have some improvement points to take away after today. Yep, definitely. I think we're just right on time. <laughs> guys um i see some of you still writing thank you so much for your feedback but before you guys go and before we finish the session we'd like um an, an, another feedback it's a poll basically what's your takeaway from the session so on your screen you will see uh the poll all right so i think we're uh i think this is it Maria, yeah. thank you so, so, so much for uh, hosting us today. Uh, thank you so much for daring to take the facilitation sandbox stage <laughs> and bring in something that you haven't played before. And uh, I hope that our feedback is going to be useful to you. I want to thank Andre as well for mm -hmm. being the co-pilot uh for madiha today and uh as a thank you i'm enabling the soundboard for us all so we can go ahead and show our appreciations for the courage that the la these ladies have shown today there we go <laughs> thank you so much uh and obviously uh hannah and Absul and preban thank you for uh joining us today and hope to see you guys very 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 soon enjoy the rest thank of the day Thank, Thank you, you all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you all. Bye. 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 Take care.